What goes on with the planning and the preparation and the strategy behind strength and conditioning for a team from the off season through the preseason into in season and the immediate aftermath of the postseason is generally unknown outside those who are actually doing the work and in the circles. What I want to do is take you through what it's like from a strategy and preparation perspective. In the beginning of the off season, so we are now in September, all the way through you know October, preseason starting in November, and then throughout our preseason. So those of you who are out there who are players, who are strength and conditioning coaches or personal trainers or sports coaches, have an understanding as to what we do and how I do things with the clubs that I'm working with. I've just spent all morning going through previous data from last season, from what we have available, and also I've just come out of a hour and a half meeting with the coach discussing the strategy for the new year, the ideas and the philosophies around training, what they want to do, how they want to go about it, what the team setup is going to look like in you know transition and in attack and in defense, and then what requirements that brings upon the players. And then from a recovery perspective, you know, what does that kind of look like? And the more information I have at the moment, the easier things are going to be moving forward. The next steps from here is to start to plan out the calendar um, so we can all see it visually. Myself, the coaching staff and the playing players, once they've um, all signed up, come on board. They get to see what then the outlook is looking like. And I personally believe that the more transparency we have with times and dates and expectations and standards before we get into preseason and essentially before we get into really a deep off-season phase is everyone knows what's going to happen moving forward. And then the next phase of what I can do is actually build buy-in with the players. And by doing that, what I want to do is get to know them and then get to know what their sort of personal ideas are on their season just gone and their off-season to come and what they're looking to improve upon for next year and then implement what I can and incorporate that into the training program that I'm then gonna provide moving forwards. Now, the idea with these vlogs is that I'll just do them as we, as things come up to keep you updated with what we're doing and why we're doing it and what I'm doing and why I'm doing it and the rationale behind doing that. And look, hey, if it works for you, follow along, um, do it with your teams or do it with yourself. Um, it doesn't work for you, no dramas. I'm always uh, open to feedback or questions or comments and happy to chat about what the philosophy is and, and go deeper into that. These little videos, five or six minutes at a time, I'm not gonna be able to give you the full picture, but I'm gonna try and give you as much as possible. Thanks for following along, uh, thanks for listening, and please subscribe if you wanna see more of this, get the updates as, they, as we release them and you get to sort of follow along and, and see what we're doing. Hopefully it provides you some value. I'll see you soon.